want to tell you a story about an elderly woman who called her minister and wanted to talk about her preparations as she was moving into the last leg of her journey on, on earth physically. And so they talked about her final wishes and songs she wanted and scriptures she wanted read and poems she wanted and, you know, um, what she was going to wear. Uh, and one more thing, she said, I want to be buried with a fork in my hand. And so the woman explained that she said, you know, for years and years and years, I've gone to dinners, church functions, dinners out at places, dinners at friends' homes. And you know, my favorite part was when they're clearing away the dinner plates, they've often leaned in and said, keep your fork. And I knew what that meant. That meant that something really good is coming. Right? And she said, you know, I knew it wasn't jello. I knew it wasn't pudding because for that, you get a spoon. She said, so for keep your fork, I knew it's going to be something really good like cake or pie or something like that, right? I want people to see me in the casket, she said, <laughs> with a fork in my hand and wonder, what on earth is this woman doing in the casket with a fork, you know? And see, I want you to tell them that something better is coming. So you keep your fork too. And so they said goodbye knowing that she had, you know, a really great grasp on what she wanted for her end-of-life wishes and that she believed in the ongoingness of spirit. And so she passed some time later, and at the funeral, people saw her in the casket in her favorite dress with her Bible and a fork in her hand. Yeah. And the minister heard people again and again saying, what's with the fork? Why does she have a fork in her hand? That's just really weird. So in the service, he told them about the fork and what it symbolized to her. And he could not stop thinking about the fork. So my invitation to you this morning is the next time you reach for your fork, remember that God has made you a great offer, a great place for your life, and it all gets better. It gets to get better all the time.